Hi guys, Ashley with Ash Cash Budget here, and today I'm doing my first uh, cash envelope stuffing session for you guys. I originally was going to start by using these types of envelopes, and that was right before I found the Financial Peace University um, stuff at my church that I work at. I have a video all about that. I'll, I'll link it. So now I have from that kit the Financial Peace University envelope system. So today I will be using this and I'm excited to show you guys this. They come with a couple loose ones which I use for my gas and my fun um, fund. Here is a very sloppily written, this is how I figured out how much and how many 20s, how many 10s I needed from the bank. So I'm just going off of this to make sure I put the stuff in there correctly. I have already balanced what I'm going to be adding today. So let's get started. We'll start with the um, gas. I was down to $6.81. Sorry if you guys can't see this. This is the only one I do in pen. You especially might not be able to see these that are in pencil. But if you guys want to see them, just let me know. I can make some changes. But I'll be telling you what the balance was before and what I'm adding. So it was $6.81 left over in my gas after I filled up. And today I'm going to be adding $90. I add $90 each paycheck because as I've stated before, I most of the time I'm traveling to work, it's a 45 minute commute. Sometimes I stay in town, but most of the time I'm commuting, so I make sure gas is one of my most important uh, budgeting things here. And I just keep this with me and so that I can get gas whenever I need to fill up, which is going to be today before I go to, to work. So I like to take in $30 um, because it's either $30 or less. Sometimes it's a little bit more, but I'll stick with $30 each time I fill up. So I like to just put it in the into the groups of 30 so that it's easy for me to pull out. So there's 20, 30, 20, 30, 20, 30. So 60, 30, 60, 90 dollars. Three times to fill up for two weeks. And add that in with my six dollars and 81 cents. So now I have $96.81 in there. And I just let that roll over. I will always add 90. Sometimes I need to get a car wash because of all the bugs on my commute. So I figure eventually it'll add up. Maybe I can get a car wash every once in a while with that same money. Next, uh, we'll do my fun money. Um, I consider this my fun money. I'm thinking of saving most of the money for things that I might want but can't really justify buying, so maybe I can use my fun money for it. Or most of the time, if I decide I'm not going to eat the lunch I brought to work and I decide I want to eat out with my coworkers, I will draw from this fun money, but usually I try to eat what I've packed. So before, I had still left over $13.92, and the only reason I'm still giving myself $20 is because as I said, like I can save up this money for maybe something I want to splurge on. So I'll be adding $20 and my total will now be $33.92 in my fund money. So there's 20, 25, 30, 33, and then the 92 cents is in there. And I keep this on me so I can use it if I need to. So now moving on to this, I only take this with me when I'm going grocery shopping or other places that I spend these categories in. So here is the first one. It is groceries. Now let me explain this. I only put $40 of my main paychecks in here, each paycheck $40. That is because the church money, that when I work church, all of the church check goes to groceries. I take $10 from each um, church check to put towards household items and everything else I get from there, I put into groceries. Because minimum, I will make three, 150 every two weeks from the church. If we have extra things going on, like we have Easter coming up, I might be making more. But everything I get 
goes to groceries. So I supplement it a little bit more by adding some of my own personal main job money. So I add $40 here. So I had only nine cents left. I uh, budgeted and only had nine cents left out of everything I stocked up on last time. So the nine cents is in there, I'm adding $40. Next we have household. Like I said, I'll, I usually take 10. I'm, well, I'm starting to take 10 from the church money and I'm also taking 10 from each of my paychecks. So it'll be about $40 a month for the household expenses. And right now I have $10 in there. So I will have $20 because I like to let it, I'm trying to get it beefed up because I will buy bulk items like bulk paper towels, a big thing of um, dryer sheets or things like that. So the bulk items tend to cost a little bit more. So I'm fine with that building up and then buying something, building up, buying something. Medical, I came across this thing where this month my, I was not paying a copay on my per, monthly prescription, but now this time they added a $15 copay. And it made me start to think about these other things. Sometimes I get sick maybe, you know, need some Dayquil, or I get vitamins, I need Claritin all the time. So I decided it'd be a smart idea to start medical fund. So I have $20 in there right now, and I'm going to add another 20, and I'll make 40. So 20, 10, 20, $40 into medical. And I will let that build up where I need it. I'm going to have to get my prescription soon, so we'll take out 15. Clothing, I decided to start a clothing budget, not because I hardly get any new clothing, but I need clothing for my work. I am, my pants are starting to um, get a little ripped in some places and really fall apart. So I decided a clothing budget would be a smart idea. I'm only putting $10 right now from each paycheck, so it'll be slow going, but I had $10 in there. I'm adding another 10 today. I'm up to 20. So next time I put money in here, I'll be able to get a pair of work pants because they're like $20 plus tax. So this won't necessarily cover it. At least I think that's how much they are. And then maybe things like socks and, you know, essentials like that. So clothing was very important to start a category for so I'm not stuck with oh my gosh my pants ripped I have nothing else I have to spend money I didn't plan this takes care of that planning this is personal I'm I'm just I set aside a hundred dollars each paycheck there's just some things I pay for so I just put this away in denominations of 50 so 245 two, four, five, that's a hundred dollars. And it was at zero. So that goes in there. Now my cats, I figured needs to be a category two. Their food, their, you know, everything like litter, everything they might need. Um, so right now it was $10. I'm adding $20 each paycheck now because I figured the first 15, the $15 is not enough. So now I'm adding 20 each paycheck. I'll be at 30 and they're big. I get a giant thing of cat food. I need about 36 for that or 32. So next time I put it in there, I'll be getting a big thing of cat food for them. So I have this 10 and some change in there. So 10 plus 20, so $30 and let's see, 11 cents is what I have for the cats. Hair, I know this is negotiable for some people, whether or not they need it. I obviously have colored hair and it's not a necessity, of course, and it is expensive to upkeep, but I only go in every six to eight weeks to my hairdresser and I'm saving up now because I'm going, she moved to a more expensive place. She's still giving me a discount because I went to her when she was at a cheaper place, but it's still, it's growing a little bit big, bigger. But I not only need to color my hair, but I really badly need a haircut. So that's the only reason why I'm letting this stack up. Today I'm adding another 20, it'll be $60.
that I have set aside for her so that I can go take care of this mop of a head right now. I'm trying to grow out my hair, but I'm growing it into a mullet if I don't go get it cut every once in a while, you know? So I wanna just keep it looking nice and that's important to me, which is why I made a category to put $20 away every time. So I'm not rushing every six weeks, like where am I gonna get this money? So there it is. There are all my envelopes stuffed up and I'll keep these two with me, my fun and my gas. And I'm really glad to be using this new envelope system that I was able to get in the Financial Peace University kit. Um, thanks again. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you liked this video, I'll keep bringing them to you. And thanks guys for watching. Bye.